Storage vaults. Yeah, what, basically. Just, you've gone to the trouble of putting this in place, yeah. and then what you decide to do, this most important document or documents, and then you decide to stick it in the drawer at home, in the kitchen. <laughs> Lose it. Uh, the number of times, sadly, over the 35 years, we've had clients' children ring up to say, sadly, dad is passed, mum's passed, uh, have you got their will? We know straight away, because obviously we go on our CRM system and it says, no, they took it with them. And we get them to sign for it because if that document's lost and you haven't got the original or it's been tampered with, it's of no use to anyone. And people buy these file boxes, don't they? You know, we've all, we've all got one at home and we stick it in there with the insurance policies. Uh, what if there's a fire? What if, what if your children are going through it one day and they throw things out? What, just put it in some vaults. It doesn't have to be with us. Of course, we prefer it. But put it in our vaults. My, my, my head, I don't know about you, is ringing about like a disgruntled step. step <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so so you after, yeah, after, yeah, after fucking, estate. Going yeah. through it, like, poof, yeah. yeah. See I, you later. Exactly. I, I must admit, sat, sat, I, I didn't, couldn't get my head around what that was because I, I, I'm finding it hard to believe that people have a will as a, as a paper copy. Mm. I assumed, I know we, you know, going back sort of 15 years, you probably didn't have electronic uh, databases like yeah. we do now, or certainly not to the same level. But yeah, I don't know. I just assume that that, that seems daft to me. Does it, I, is it is it like a, like a tenancy? Do you know, like when you buy a house and you get your your documents your for that? Is it, is it your deeds? Yeah, is it the same sort of yeah. thing? It's like a deed, like when you get your birth certificate. It's like a, it a legal is. document that you need to have yeah, in a physical yeah. copy. Is it is it like that? I mean, the probate courts, you know, ideally want the original copy yeah. untampered and un undamaged in any Touched, way. You know, yeah. so if if children have spilt coffee all over it, or sweets. have you had? I know you probably can't talk about it. Have you had any? things where people have like rang you up and said oh it's just gone missing and you think that someone's yeah. taken it and stuff like that you know and you think I'm, like you know the 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 step mum or something is, yeah, yeah. is oh it's gone missing yeah i'll get all his stuff yeah. and i'm yeah. sad to say uh it's normally blended families you know yeah that's like, that's like what said, i'm thinking part yeah. one uh it, it's it's one of those things where you you just say to clients at the outset look you know you, you want to make sure that this person you know inherits uh, there could be a threat in the wing somewhere, you know? And if it's in someone's interest, as, as you said earlier, Paul, you know, where they stumble across it and think, I'm not even in there, destroy. And where's the proof that it was ever there or ever destroyed? You come to a company like ours and we'd say, yeah, of course, we did this document, 14th of May, 2001, here's what we've got. The, the courts want to see the original. They don't want to see us just talk. You can do an affidavit, which will help a court in terms of, uh, you know, evidence in what, what's gone on, but yeah. they want the document. That's, that's what they want. That's the proof, isn't it? That's, that was your will. That was your intent to do this. 